believe what you see. You're watching Dear Darren Reviews. So it's kind of a cash Sunday and I wanted to go out but not really go out. So I decided to drag you guys out to Starbucks with me yet again so I could grab some easy eats. I was hoping that I'd be able to grab one of those pumpkin cream cheese muffins to share with you guys because they're so good. But the person working there told me that uh, all the stores have been out for days, so apparently it's an epidemic. I noticed that they had a new pumpkin cream cold brew, and it looks delicious. I was only recently introduced to the joys of the pumpkin spiced latte at Starbucks, and that's made me very curious to see how this compares. I have to say that I love these little cups they use. It seems like they're specially designed to allow you to taste the foam, but preserve it as you sip each sip. It's somewhat ingenious. Here we go. Similar to the pumpkin spice latte, the uh, pumpkin flavor is not too prominent. It meshes well and doesn't take away from the taste of their cold brew, which is usually pretty good. The foam is definitely the funnest part with a pumpkin-y flavor, somewhat reminiscent of a creamy pumpkin pie. It's a really good one, and I'm noticing the foam is disappearing a little faster than it has on uh, other foamy cold brew drinks I've had from them, so get it while it's good. The last time I was here at Starbucks with you, I didn't have the best experience with my breakfast sandwich, but I'm trying it again. This time I picked up the bacon gouda egg sandwich. It comes on this nice, somewhat firm little roll, and underneath the roll, we've got some nice light Gouda cheese, some bacon slices, and underneath those there's a little scrambled egg patty. The roll is small, but substantial. I'm pee hungry, and I'm ready to take a bite out of this sando ASAP. Here we go with the first big bite. The scrambled egg patty doesn't taste too cheap. It's a nice texture and somewhat similar to the roll. The bacon isn't crispy or anything, but it does add some nice and needed saltiness. It's hard to see the good at cheese because it kind of merges with everything, but it's very prominent and very delish.
The bacon gouda sando is a good one. Even though it's somewhat small, the ingredients all pack a nice punch. The eggs taste like hotel eggs, for whatever that's worth to you. The bacon, as usual at Starbucks, is not crispy in any way, and more of a cold cut in form. But the roll is really nice and light, and goes well with the eggs, and the star, of course, is the Gouda cheese which isn't too abundant or too flavorful, yet flavorful enough to be lingering in my mouth right now as I speak. So far I feel like that's the best breakfast sando I've had at Starbucks. What do you think? Is there something better that I'm missing out on? Let me know in the comments. Well guys, I'm gonna take this pumpkin cream cold brew and scram on out of here, but before I go, be sure you like this video. Also click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and next to the subscribe button there's a little bell icon, go ahead and tap that button, that way you'll get an email notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out my other vids, and I've got a couple other Starbucks reviews in there that you might enjoy. Also, feel free to check out my music, there will be a link in the description. Well guys, I had fun tearing into this Starbucks on this cash Sunday, and I hope you had fun too. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye! Hey guys, just wanted to remind you that I've got some stuff that you can subscribe and follow. Be sure to check out my Instagram account, and also check out my new channel, Dear Darren Plays, if you want to see me play uh, retro video games. If the words Sega Genesis and TurboGrafx-16 give you sorts of tingles, then you should check it out. I'm not sure when I'm going to upload a video for that channel, but when I do, it's going to be cool. So be sure to subscribe to that, and then you'll be pleasantly surprised whenever I do my first vid. And as usual, feel free to check out my music, there's that link too. Well guys, like I said, this drink is A-OK -okay and worth checking out if you dig Starbucks and their pumpkin flavoring. I'll see you guys next time.